we're kind of shocked. We didn't expect that everything would look exactly the way it did when we left it over two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> don't film people, Nelly. They said, Austrians don't like being filmed. <laughs> I would say the biggest difference between the Philippines and Austria is in the Philippines, when somebody sees their on camera, they're like, <laughs> in Austria, they're like, <laughs> okay, we left the tea shop, too many people and one very angry looking woman. <laughs> Welcome to our hometown in Austria, which is Linz. Welcome guys. Um, today we are here for a little stroll in the city. Um, Mike is currently at our favorite coffee shop. The coffee shop is over there and we're going to show you around in our hometown what it looks like and we're also very curious to see what has changed and what has stayed. Um, we want to see if they are, um, if our favorite places are still there and of course we are going to show you how the regulations are here yeah that's it let's uh, have coffee <laughs> and this is it our favorite coffee spot it's the Gabarai but before I go in I have to put on a face mask um, face masks are mandatory in closed rooms here in Austria um, you're not obligated to wear a face mask when you're outside we only wear it when we are in big crowds basically so give me a second okay I'm all set so hello things are better when you're with me it's nice to be back it's nice to be back at our coffee spot cheers cheers <laughs> okay we decided to take a coffee to go yes and it's so funny because uh, the people here from the coffee shop are watching our video and videos, videos it's videos yes. it's more a few, just a a few. Very, a few. oh it's yeah. green we, we need oh. to cross it's green <laughs> quickly yeah crossing the street when it's red will end up in a juicy fine <laughs> yes very true so we're just going to have a coffee to go while strolling through our town i think we should go this way so yes exactly there. and by the way here in Austria, what we're doing right now is considered very unorthodox. Austrians like to sit down and drink coffee. They don't like paper cups and walking yeah. around. So this is, you won't see anyone besides us do this right now. Uh, but we're bringing a little bit of our international lifestyle to Linz. <laughs> and yes, uh, what I also want to mention at the beginning of this video, Austria has a very strict mask mandate, but that is limited to when you are indoors or in crowds. So if you're strolling around outside, you need your mask, but you don't need to wear it. Yeah. So I, I mentioned it earlier on. Oh, you mentioned it yeah, earlier on. Yeah, I mentioned saw, it earlier on. Yeah, it's fine. We're so paranoid already about making sure that we explain always uh, along the way why we're not wearing a mask now, why we're going to be wearing it later. So Yeah, but I also said if we are in crowds, we're putting yes. the mask on. And here's something that we're not used to from uh, the Philippines. Well, <laughs> I just wanted to show you quickly right now above us four, five, around six aeroplanes because in Europe there are a lot of aeroplanes and right here usually there is a Christmas market right in front of the church but Christmas markets are not open this year except for I think in Vienna a few in Vienna, yes. yeah it has been difficult because Austria was in lockdown so yeah they there's no Christmas markets in our hometown this year okay here we are approaching um, the equivalent of Jollibee for the Philippines, Leberkas Pepe is the, the fast food chain that you have from Linz. Yeah, this is our Jollibee. Everybody who comes to Austria should try Leberkas Pepe. So Leberkas translates directly to liver cheese, but it does not contain liver and it does not contain cheese. Yeah. It's a meatloaf, but a very special meatloaf. They have here the regular version, one with horse meat, which is Quite delicious, I might add. <laughs> might shock a few people that Austrians like to eat horse meat, but yes, it is quite delicious. It's like, <laughs> a, it's like a sporty cow. Uh, <laughs> and then they have some with cheese inside. Super delicious. It's the first thing that that I ate here when we yeah. got back to Austria. I was like, Leberkass, baby, I need it right away. Yeah. This is what we'd used to eat after a night out in yeah. town drink. Usually it's packed. There's a line out the door. 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock a.m. Two now it's not so busy, yeah, but it yeah. gets really busy when people drink and then they need a little snack after the drinking. So. Yes. If you happen to be watching from London, they have one of these places yeah. in London, so you definitely should give it a try. You should. And when we're together, I hear music. You got me singing, sing it out. 
<laughs> Look at this, more of this. What is happening here? This is Tischlein Deck. Oh, this is like a Austrian, Austrian folklore. folklore. It's the, honestly, I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> here we have Aschenputtel is the German version of Cinderella. Yeah, look, look at this little... Look guy. at the dude, look at him go. <laughs> look at him go. He's like, you want the shoe? And then he takes it away again. <laughs> you want the shoe? And he takes it away again. <laughs> and where I'm standing right now, there's the huge, huge Christmas market, usually. So if you Google Linz Christmas market, you'll see how it looks like. Um, but everything is gone. Everything is different this Christmas and it's really sad because it's part of the Austria's tradition. Yeah, that's it's like Christmas tradition. It's like if we take away queso de bola in the Philippines. <laughs> kind of, yeah. It's just deeply embedded in the culture to go to the Christmas markets in December and drink some glue vine and eat some of the specialties, that's the, the, the street foods, the Christmas street foods. Really sad. And here we have the tiniest little train in the world. Uh, I have asked multiple times, they have never let me drive it. So uh, even though Austria is a very cold country, minus five degrees today, as Austrians we like to sit outside and uh, say nay to the bad weather. <laughs> sit outside and drink wine. Yeah. And also something we're going to try later, which is called wow. Glühwein, which is basically hot red wine with sugar and spices. It's going to be really, really good. Yeah. And yeah, another reason is Austrians like to smoke yeah. a lot. Yeah. And uh, the majority of the restaurants do not allow smoking indoors, so uh, they'll sit outside and eat their food that is frozen already while they smoke. <laughs> yeah, it's an Austrian thing. <laughs> they just, uh, it's, it's part of the culture to smoke, I think. So right now we are in the old town. Um, Usually in summer this is packed with people. There are a lot of events happening on the weekends. Um, people, there's, I think there's even a wine festival. This is another coffee shop here, Friedlieb and Töchter. Nice cakes. Seems like everything looks... It all looks the same. The I, same. We're kind of shocked. We didn't expect that everything would look exactly the way it did when we left it over two years ago. Yeah. Because last time we were here, we weren't here we were just at my parents' house, right? Yeah. And we didn't venture out into... We're oh. standing in the middle of the road. Sorry. Make way for the beamer. <laughs> don't film people, Melly. They said, Austrians don't like being filmed. <laughs> that is true. We should not love. We'll make sure to cut out everybody <laughs> in this video. Something that is also very, very hard to deal with is the cold. Yeah. Um, and would, it gets dark. I would say the biggest difference between the Philippines and Austria is in the Philippines, when somebody sees their camera, they're like, <laughs> in Austria they're like <laughs> <laughs> not everybody though but yeah it's not it's not uh, very well accepted here yes. and it will get dark in one hour it's three o'clock 3 p.m. in the afternoon and it will get dark in one hour and that's something that we struggled a lot with when we lived in Austria yes. especially during winter time um, you barely see any sunlight and it's so funny that you said that because today the 22nd is the the shortest day of the year in Austria so yeah. from tomorrow it'll start getting the sun will rise a little bit earlier the sun will set a little bit later but today is the the shortest day mm. in the year and this is one of our favorite tea stores Madame Wu Madame who? Madame Wu <laughs> I like the things you do I like it when I'm with you we left the tea shop, too many people and one very angry looking woman. <laughs> yeah, almost forgot about that. <laughs> almost. <laughs> um, Austrians have the way of communicating and uh, looking friendly is not one of the strengths. <laughs> That's just the way it is. They don't mean it. They don't mean it. Okay, we are in another part of the old town and this is called the Alte Metzgerei, which is the old butcher. butcher. And you can come here, eat something straight from the butchery and drink some wine. And they have sea things outside. Yes, always yeah. drink wine, always drink wine. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something that you just do here. Yeah. I think if you watch this vlog, you already know that we love wine. It's embedded in our culture. I'm in a better life. I like it when I'm with you. 
Cucu. Train, what say? <laughs> it's a tiny train. Well, it is one of our tourist attractions, so I think uh, if you want to see the city, it's something like a hop on, hop off bus in other cities, but just we have a tiny train here in Austria. And as it becomes later, it rapidly cools down. As you can see, the sun is almost almost gone ready, yeah, and I'm wearing. And my hands are so red. I'm wearing a hat, and we both decided to wear our face mask because it it warms us up. Yes. It does. <laughs> Okay, if you see behind me, there are some people sitting outside just enjoying uh, the drinks. It's actually so cold. I can't even stay outside. <laughs> it's something that people get used to. So here we are in the, the shopping promenade in Linz. Luckily, we don't need to spend any time here because we already have purchased all of the Christmas presents. High five! High five! For managing Christmas parent, uh, presents in time. These are the people <laughs> that are on the naughty list. <laughs> a chestnut stand. I always buy chestnuts here. It's one of my favorite things during winter. By the way, there is also a video of our hometown of summertime, which is much nicer. It yes. looks prettier, I would say. Right? Yeah, and it's pre-pandemic, so none of this. Yeah, none of this. It smells so good, it smells like Christmas. Chestnut taste test. These are the chestnuts. Mm. Oh yeah, I miss this. Mm. Perfect, They're a little bit sweet. Ah, but it's so satisfying for to just have something warm in my belly. Mm. Yum. <laughs> okay, I think we had enough of the cold. Yes. Oh quick inside and then we will show you the hot wine that we drink here in Austria. Where are we getting it? Over they there? They have one. They oh, have really? a really good one. Yeah. Okay. They've been telling me for, for since, since they saw me the first time, they've been like, you gotta try it, you gotta try it, you gotta try it. Yeah. Because they use a really good wine. So. Okay. Okay, we are at the coffee shop. Here's the Glühwein. So usually what is like a very specific tea bag that you use and you you boil the tea in red wine and you add cinnamon and spices and here we have some oranges inside. Yeah. Some people even add rum. Rum? Yeah. <laughs> it's so satisfying. It's hot. It's boozy. It's sweet. And it just tastes, it tastes like Christmas in a cup. It's so good. Oh. Mm. Honestly. You guys should look up the recipe for this and maybe make it for family for Christmas. Yeah.